Canada. Welcome to Vintage Power Sports. Today we're changing a CV boot on my Articat 400. If you can't get this far, you probably shouldn't be doing this on your own. You take the lug nuts off, remove the wheel, a couple four teams on the ball joints, and a 30 for the CV axle. Mine was a little bit, it wouldn't move. Needed a little bit of heat to persuade it, and an impact gun. Got that off. Now we're at the part where we need to remove the old boot. There's a circ clip holding that in there. A whole like CV joint bearing kind of deal. We have to get that off. So first off, grab the old rusty chisel. Let's see if we can knock this clamp off here. We gotta get this thing loose. It gotta slide the boot back. So we can just somehow get underneath that CV clamp here. I'm not too sure how to do this. I guess that'll do. So the clamp is removed. And we'll pull that clamp down as well as the boot. And I taped it up because I had to go on a, a ride with the boys. And I needed to try to keep it together for the trail ride. So we'll try to get most of this off. The way I wrapped it is I put it in gear, put the tape on it, packing tape, and just let her, let her eat. So now there's a shit ton of tape on there. But I'll stop the video. I'll get this boot. Oh, never mind. All right. So we'll pull this boot back. I guess we'll have to pop the front one off too. Oh, my rusty chill is not going to be rusty now. It's got grease on it. Damn. That's okay. There's always water to rust her back up. Let's see if there's another spot. We can open that CV boot up the same way we did the other one with the clamp. It's always good to hit your knuckles once in a while too. Let's you know you're alive. If you feel pain, you're alive. And we'll just cut that off after. But first process is getting the boot back. Now we have to get some of this grease out of there. And there's the clip we gotta get out. So I'll go get a couple of rags and we'll get some of that grease out. We'll pop the joint out. So we found some rags. Now let's just go around and get some of that grease out of there. Clean her up as much as we can. Makes it a lot easier to work when it's not all oozing out everywhere. I can see the wire. It's almost like a circ clip on a, a wrist pin of a piston. So we'll just have to get underneath it, pop that off, and then the CV joint should come right apart. Like no one's business. So, I don't know if you guys want to see that. Here it is. So let's get this underneath. If I can here. A weird angle, trying to show you guys. Alright, I'm supposed to get underneath it, but I'll put the camera back down so I can do it myself here. But, it is a tool, so it should work. There we go. Oh, we had it and then it went back in. We get underneath without losing an eye. There's the clip. And now the CV joint should just slide right out, just like that. Now, as you can see in there, there's a sir clip. So you just take that pin off or the clip off. This will slide straight off. You put your new boot on the bearing and the balls back on you put that clip back on and now your boot is on you're ready to put it back into here 
So I'll go do that right now and we'll get back to it. And I don't want to lose my balls. So I got a quick idea here. You'll just loosen this up. Here for the old slide hammer. There we go. So not that soft. Your little clip that's still in the boot. Set that aside. You slide your old boot off. Just like that. And I'll slide my tape off. Just like that. Grab a rag and polish your shaft. Polish it real nice. Clean shaft. Now we'll get the new boot and we'll reverse this process. We're back. Nothing but second best for me. We got the old Nishi CV axle boots. They were pretty cheap on Amazon. And while I was at it, I bought CV axle boot clamp and tool set on Amazon as well. So first off, let's take a look at our new boots. Hopefully I ordered the right ones. It looks pretty nice. And it comes with the clamps as well, except for I don't know how to clamp these. So I will use the second best Amazon ones. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to put that small clamp on first. If I got one that could go small enough. Looks like they're sets. Something's going on in the neighborhood. Oh yeah, that'll definitely be big enough. And this will definitely be small enough. So, what we'll do is we'll slide that on first. We'll slide the boot. On over. So I guess we might as well try installing one of these first. There's a C if we know how to do it. So I'll just mar this up in the vise. That's the tool look like. We're doing this for the first time together. What a beautiful tool. Made of Chinesium. So what I discovered is these clamps are for this tool. These clamps are for this tool. This one seems the easiest, so let's do this one. So the trick is now we have to get this thing wrapped around there a bunch of times, so it's pretty much tight. And this is a small little boot here, so I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty tough to do. But you spend enough time doing something, you'll eventually get it. So if we do this something like that, I don't know if we'll be able to clamp down enough. We might need to get one more tooth on there. I guess we can always try. There's a whole bunch of clamps. So if I waste one, it's not a big deal. So now I got that as tight as I could possibly get it, which I don't think is tight enough. And we use these clamps here to pinch each side of this little clamp thing. Oh yeah, there we go. That's solid. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. So there you go. Yeah, that boot is on there solid. That's This tool actually works really good. These clamps are amazing as well. So yeah, and there we have it. So we'll take this old piece off because that's done. Done like dinner. Put this boot or axle back in the vise here. And it's all empty and there's no grease in there it comes with some grease and uh, I think we should probably put some in first that seems like the logical idea so go like that piece off squish a little bit of grease down inside the boot just like so 
And then you have to remember to put your balls back in. So it's a spline. You just, yes. Oh, drop my balls. See what I mean? It's easy to lose your balls here. Probably help when there's grease because it'll keep them in there. Keep your balls nice and tight. I'm not sure how far it has to go. That seems like that's seated all the way down. So we'll get our circlip and the tool wherever it has gone. And we'll put the plier end into the little holes. Put it over top. And make sure it's seated. And it looks good. So now we're going to take our axle over to the ATV and we're going to put our CV axle back inside. I'm just going to pack that more with grease, keep these balls nice and tight. There we go. All right, back to the quad. All right, so now we're gonna put the CV axle back into its home, back where it belongs. It's being a little stubborn. There we go, it's back home. And remember, we have to put this little clip back in. That'll keep everything inside, keep the CV axle from falling apart. Get it started and work your way around until it's fully seated. Now it can't come out. Now we have that done. Grab your Unikitty sock. Wipe the grease off your hands. Because we have to get that clip tool back in there now. So, let's get this CV boot over top of the back part of the shaft here. And once again, your Unikitty sock, wipe the grease off your hands. A little slippery. You get the grease off the boot with your Unikitty sock. Polish your shaft with your Unikitty sock. Now we're at the clamp on. So we'll get her pretty tight here. That's probably good. There's about uh, a millimeter or so of play there. And then you grab your Amazon clamp pliers. Try not to block you guys so you can see. And you squeeze your little clamp. And there we have it. new CV boot installed and of course you just reverse the process of all this stuff here slap a little bit of grease on here throw it through your bearing and reassemble everything 14 30 and I think that's it might need a 17 by 17 for the wheel nuts all right guys Thanks for watching Vintage Power Sports. Keep your shit on the road for cheap. You don't have to pay someone to do this stuff. This is easy. Take care, guys.